Welcome back to my blog. Just last week, I published a video all about Victoria's Secret and how their marketing has been very detrimental to the body image and mental health of girls and women. It affected me growing up, and I'm willing to bet it affected you or someone you care about too. I encourage you to go back and watch that video. I'll link it in the comments. Today, I want to build off of that topic and actually address something that I've been dealing with for the last year, getting to a healthy weight. Now, to be clear, this isn't me struggling with my body image because I wish I were skinnier. This is me trying to be healthy so that I can enjoy the best possible quality of life for as long as I can. When I first had my accident, my physical therapist said something that had a huge impact on me. He said, that they see a lot of people with spinal cord injuries using food as a coping mechanism. People with spinal cord injuries typically do not need to eat as many calories as someone of the same height and weight who is able-bodied, especially with higher level injuries like mine, which is a C5 complete injury, because we have limited movement. If we do put on weight, it can be harder to lose because we don't have many options for exercise. That's why weight gain can be a big issue. So in all these years, I've always been very mindful of how much I ate because I knew how I was going to have to potentially be more susceptible to weight gain than someone who is able-bodied. But thankfully over the years, I had an amazing metabolism and have been able to stay at what I thought was a healthy weight. I've never counted calories or gone on a diet, but tried to just eat things in moderation. But over the past five years, I slowly started gaining weight, especially after I got married to Doug. He is such a good cook. But over a year ago, <laughs> someone asked me if I was pregnant. Now, I'm not pregnant, even though it's possible for Doug and me to have children, but we've made the conscious decision not to do so. But I was shocked at how much that comment bothered me. Side note, Never ask a woman if she's pregnant. You have no idea what's going on in her life, if she's struggling with infertility or weight gain, or if she truly is pregnant and just hasn't told you yet. It's one of the rudest things that you can say to a woman, so please just don't ask. Anyway, someone asked me if I were pregnant, and it really bothered me because I'd actually just lost 10 pounds. In recent years, I've become self-conscious of my stomach because there's some things that contribute to the appearance of my torso, such as how the backrest on my wheelchair pushes my stomach forward when I'm sitting due to my scoliosis. It's also common to have what they call a quad tummy, where my stomach muscles are paralyzed so I can't tone them, causing a little more of a pouch in my stomach. So I was also having problems with retaining water. And I can look back on pictures from a year ago and see the difference, really the puffiness in my face and legs. Because of this, I really thought the problem was that I needed to lose weight. I tried everything I could to lose the water weight. I took diuretics, I monitored my sodium, but nothing was working. So then I started looking at what I was eating and began working with a dietitian. In the beginning, she told me that I needed to lose 20 to 30 pounds. Now, I've lost weight before, so I wasn't too discouraged as I figured I could just make some changes and would lose the weight. I was really determined as I wanted to be healthy. My dietitian had sent over some materials for me to read, and I was, as I was looking through them, I found the BMI chart. BMI is the body mass index, which measures your height and your weight to see what range you are in, underweight, healthy, or obese. The healthy range falls between 19 and 25 on this chart. And I noticed using this chart that my weight was in a healthy range. I was really confused and thought I was reading it wrong. So at my next appointment, I brought this up to my dietitian and I asked her, you do know that I'm six foot two, right? And she was like, no. And so I showed her that I was at 25 on the BMI chart, which is within a healthy range. So it turns out that I was at a healthy weight. And if I lost 20 to 30 pounds, I'd actually be underweight. So even though I was 20 to 30 pounds heavier than I was 10 years ago, the dietitian pointed out that where I am now is actually the ideal weight. So she changed her recommendation from needing to lose weight to only needing to maintain my weight or perhaps lose about 10 pounds if I chose to do so. Now in talking with my rehab doctor, she said that she does want to see my BMI 
go down to a 22 because I don't have as much muscle in my body due to my spinal cord injury. But a healthy BMI for someone with a spinal cord injury is 22 to 25, and I'm already within that range. So after we figured this all out with my BMI, I kind of had to reprogram my brain. Every time I rolled by the mirror, I just wasn't happy because I weighed more than I did 10 years ago. But I came to the realization that I am healthy how I am now. And the weight I was 10 years ago was actually not healthy. Looking back, I can even see that I had some mild body dysmorphia because what I saw in the mirror was not the reality. This is something that people with eating disorders really struggle with. And thankfully, I've not suffered from an eating disorder. But I do have a mom and a sister who are very tiny. And it's hard for me not to compare myself to them. I am just built differently. And because I sit in this wheelchair all day, it's better that I carry a healthy weight and not be too skinny or bony, as that can cause skin problems and other complications. So I still did set out to lose about 10 pounds in 2022. And that would bring my number down to the BMI number of 22. So working with a dietitian, she helped me put together a plan to eat a more balanced diet of fruits, vegetables, carbs, and proteins, and to also eat less sugar and to track what I was eating to make sure that I was making healthy choices. I've now been tracking what I eat for 202 days on the Lose It app. And it's been really good for me. It's helping me see how to eat a more balanced diet, especially because I love sweets. I've always been good about moderation and only eating a few bites of desserts, but perhaps I wasn't eating as varied of a diet as I should have been. The other complication is that for a long time, I had to limit the fruits and vegetables I ate. But since I have it now have a colostomy bag a few years ago, I can actually eat healthy and not worry about how those fruits and vegetables will affect my digestion. I can eat things that I've never been able to eat. Corn, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, asparagus, and it's been awesome. Now keep in mind that the average dietary guidelines for adults are between 1,600 and 3,000 calories per day. In working with my dietitian, she worked out a daily goal for me of consuming 1,200 calories a day, which is a lot for me. Before working with her, I was actually consuming around 800 calories a day, and I was feeling full. I mean, I don't really like to eat breakfast, but I forced myself to, and I'm not big on snacking, so this was definitely a lifestyle shift to learn to look at what I was eating and do what I needed to do to maintain a healthy, balanced diet. I've also been healing from a pressure wound recently, and this means that I need 120 grams of protein every day, which tend to get, I tend to get through protein drinks and meat. And stay tuned, I'm gonna be doing a vlog on this coming up. And you know what? I really enjoy this new way of eating. Even though I haven't really quite reached my goal weight, and research shows that the last 10 pounds are the hardest to lose. This change in lifestyle has really been positive for me. I have more energy and I just feel healthier. My health is a journey just like anyone else's. And so it's important that no matter how much we weigh or where we are in our health journey, that we learn to love ourselves. And as we do that, we will naturally want to take care of ourselves and make healthy choices. I wanna put good food into my body because it makes me feel better, have more energy, and be able to do the things I enjoy, like speaking and doing fun things with my husband, our friends, and family. So thanks for tuning in to learn more about my journey with my weight and finding a healthy, balanced diet. What questions do you have for me? Leave them below and I will do my best to answer them. See you next time.